I'm nervous for this, guys. The Attack on Titan skin is here in Call of Duty Vanguard. The actual picture of Levi looks so cool, but then you click on the bundle and then, oh, skin for Daniel. This is what the skin actually looks like. I mean, <sighs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. The Ymir Curse Assault Rifle. The Historia SMG <laughs> Titan Piercer Melee. I mean, that's actually really cool. Oh my. I don't think anyone's buying the bundle for the skin. I think they're going to be getting it for the finishing moves and the actual melee weapon. You got Aaron's key. You got his little charm hanging off the gun. The potato stick. This is actually not a bad bundle. Vertical Maneuver Highlight Intro. Oh yeah, we. I think we've seen this. Yep. Then we have Ultra Hard Steel MVP Highlight. So there's only one takedown. <laughs> that looks terrible. The melee's not even there. Wait, what? <coughs> There's nothing. That... I don't get it. I feel like she was supposed to be holding the melee weapon there. But yeah, guys, that is the Attack on Titan Levi Edition Tracer Pack bundle. It actually looks okay, aside from the main skin. I'm gonna sound pretty insane saying this, but I actually watched all 77 episodes that were available for Attack on Titan in the last week with Karina. <laughs> we binged the entire show, at least for what you could watch. I mean, like, I think it's season four, part two. That brand new episode's gonna be coming out on Sunday. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen the show, or maybe they're watching it right now and getting caught up. But I've watched so much Attack on Titan in the last week, and the show is so good. I can kind of relate to that whole mindset of people being like, oh, there's too many anime skins in Call of Duty. It's ruining it. But then I actually watched the anime and it's pretty fucking incredible. It has some amazing storytelling. The soundtrack's awesome. The animation's pretty great. I mean, season four, they kind of changed things up. I think it's because a different studio got involved, but yeah. If I was actually playing Vanguard a bit more, I'd buy this bundle. I'm going to leave it alone for now, but it's actually pretty fucking awesome. I, I actually like it. They definitely did Levi a little dirty with this skin. It could have looked better in other games. I mean, that's what a lot of people are saying. I, I do agree. It could have been better. But now we're going to continue with reviewing, reviewing Call, of Call of Duty Vanguard, Vanguard Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Flight Fang Who's gonna buy this? The graveyard shift. Yo, this gun actually looks insane. What? The rune SMG. That actually looks really cool. I like that. Like the little wings. They got a little spooky call to the ghost hanging off the side. See the preview animation. That actually looks pretty dope. How much are they charging? Nope. <laughs> you can get the Levi bundle for that much. Wild Rose. Oh, the highlight is for what is that smile? What? Two-handed takedown. Oh. <laughs> Bonging him with a stick. <laughs> Reserved steel. The Heliox SMG? No. No, I don't like anything about this one. Santa's sleigh. I aren't wait, these are old. Why are these just now popping up in my store? Yeah, I think I recognize some of these. I think we're done with Vanguard bundle review. I still don't have the PTRS unlocked. How much would it cost to skip? Can't you buy tier skips? One, two. I just need three tiers. I don't want to buy the battle pass. I just want the PTRS, man. I don't care. I'm just gonna have to play. Maybe if we just play shipments, I'll eventually get it. I don't know. Apparently, shotguns got nerfed again. I haven't really been keeping up with Vanguard, obviously. But I guess we'll do some ship house 24-7 while we talk about some really big stuff going on with Call of Duty. First big piece of news I want to talk about, which is it's probably gonna be kind of old by the time this video goes out, but whatever. I still want to mention it because Phil Spencer said that Call of Duty is still going to be available on PlayStation, even after the whole like acquisition of Activision Blizzard. It's great to hear that the upcoming Call of Duty games are still gonna be available on all the platforms that we've been playing Call of Duty on. And I saw some comments from you guys as well saying that they'll probably have like Xbox exclusive skins or maybe there'll be some things that get released on Xbox first. It could end up becoming a situation where Call of Duty gets released first on Xbox or Xbox Game Pass. We really are gonna have to wait to ultimately see what they decide to do. <laughs> That's all I got for the battle pass? Oh my lord. Why can't I get tier skips? Do you have to have the battle pass to do that? I don't understand this game. There was some other stuff I saw on Twitter about Call of Duty saying that this year's Call of Duty is expected to redeem the franchise's fortune. Does this mean they want Call of Duty to just make more money? I, I don't understand that. But apparently the developers who make Call of Duty have actually wanted to step away and stop doing yearly Call of Duty releases. But apparently specifically Bobby Kotick has been pushing for Call of Duty to still have yearly releases. So yeah guys, there's a pretty good chance that we might actually stop getting yearly Call of Duty releases once Microsoft takes over things. I think it'll be interesting to see if this is actually a good or bad move for Call of Duty. Like, we've gotten so used to getting a yearly Call of Duty game and things change up at least slightly every year. Ooh, <laughs> what? What? That was the easiest five minutes of my life. On go! On go! No! I blew myself up! What happened to my sound? What happened to my sound? Is Vanguard still having sound issues? Like, what? I'm still thinking about that quote. Like, this year's Call of Duty is going to redeem the franchise. It's going to redeem Call of Duty. Now I'm actually really curious to see what the next Call of Duty is going to be. Like, is it going to be a Modern Warfare 2 reboot? Are they going to actually do Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered? What if they made the COD Ghost 2 cosmetics to kind of, like, throw us off the scent? Because there's no way Ghost 2 would, like, revive Call of Duty. Or restore Call of Duty to its former glory. Whatever they said. Redeem its fortune. No, I was at 100 kills. I was one off. MP40 is really hard to use in hardcore. It's really bad. Checking for update. <gasps> no, it's going to break my recording. Graphics, audio, interface, audio, graphics, keyboard. So much fun. I love this game. 
game! Oh boy, I got the free brazen calling title. Whatever, what is this? I only need three tiers, but I bet in 21 days I still won't get it. <laughs> I don't play the game enough, I don't. Gaming-wise, I've been pretty hooked on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for a bit. Like, I'm, I'm trying to finish the Pokedex. I think right now I'm at like 472 out of 490, so I'm pretty close to finishing it. Gen 4 Pokemon is dank. I'm gonna use the Gracie Auto. I don't even have good attachments. Let's see how bad shotguns are doing hardcore shipment. That's pretty good. I don't get a mid with a. <laughs> Is he really in middle? <laughs> yes, I'm in the middle. Yeah, he's using a shot. Right? He really. <laughs> oh, these guys are about to get so mad. Yeah, now I got a triple. Yeah. He killed me again. Bruh. Look at. He killed. Me. What do you think is gonna happen? It's shipment. Double kill. Neat. <laughs> Bro. Look at him. Bruh. Ah, <laughs> uh, we lost already? That was fast. Sweaty tryhard bitches, man. <laughs> it's not oh, even, yeah, it's not even <laughs> hard. Radar patrol. This is supposed to be assault pacing. No one's playing this, dude. Okay. So deal with the, like the overly green tint on this map. It just, it does not look good. <laughs> Imagine losing that. Couldn't be me. Da, 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 down. Nice no scope. I... Dude, just chilling. I thought he was alive. I thought he's just sitting there. <laughs> no! I had the perfectionist. Ooh. I just realized that Black Ops 3 would probably be the perfect game to actually have the Levi skin in. The person who did the anime mod on Black Ops 3 PC actually did a pretty good job, and I think the skin would look pretty good there. He was wasted on Vanguard. Ugh. They're playing Beat Rice, and their clan tag is Beatrice. <laughs> and they're jump shotting with an LMG. Oh, this game makes me want to bleh. I'm gonna fall asleep playing Vanguard. I hope you guys aren't falling asleep watching this video. I'm sorry. I'll get back to doing some more throwback Call of Duty stuff. I mean, I really can't play Vanguard for any length of time. It's just, it's not that much fun. I really do hope that the next Call of Duty game can actually reinvigorate the franchise because, I mean, I'm falling asleep over here, man. I really am. Like, I, I feel like I'm actually getting tired. I don't know if it's just the game sucking the life out of me or if it's just that uninspiring to play. This game had the quickest honeymoon phase, man. Vanguard booked like a two day vacation in Hawaii. Hawaii then just got overnight shipping and left the day of anyway because I didn't want to stay. Oh! At least we won. I dropped, what, 60 kills sniping? It's okay. I just hate how slow the battle pass progresses in this game. Like, it's really too slow. There's just something so draining about playing this game. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the colors too. Ah. It's really horrible to look at. I'm now two and a half tiers away from the PTRS. At this point, I don't even think it's worth it, but I, I want to try to get it. I don't want to miss out. I really can't wait for the next Attack on Titan episode, man. I really do feel like this bundle belongs in Black Ops 3. I mean, like, you have the EXO movement in Black Ops 3. Even Advanced Warfare can make more sense. I mean, like, the actual movement of the ODM would make sense in the futuristic Call of Duty games, but not so much in Vanguard. I mean, I, it kind of makes more sense for the actual era of the weapons that were in Attack on Titan. But then again, Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare do have throwback World War II guns in the game, too, so I don't know. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this random Vanguard video. If you guys did enjoy this video and for some reason you want to see some more Vanguard stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead! Above me, on our ammo supply. I'm going to